everybody. Today we're going to look at calculating power. So make sure you have your calculator available. I'm getting mine. All right. Now, if you remember from our notes, power is the rate of work done, or it's how fast you do your work, or remembering that work is also how we convert energy. Power is the change in energy per unit time. Either one of those, it's the same thing. Work and, and converted energy or transferred energy are the same thing. So that's why they're both measured in joules and we can use either one. Now, remember how the triangle works. Uh, whether you're looking for the energy transferred, which is the work, or the power or the time. You cover your, the one you're looking for up with your finger and that will show you what you're going to do with the other uh, two. For example, if you want the power, that's going to be the energy divided by the time. If you want the energy transferred or the work done, you say power times time. Get it? It's pretty easy, isn't it? So let's look at this example right here. It says, if a runner's power is 400 watts, aha, as she runs. So we know the power she's generating. It's 400 watts, okay? It says, how much chemical energy does she convert into other forms? So here it is. This is the change in energy. That's what they want us to find is the change in energy. And then it says, in 10 minutes. So that's the time that she runs, okay? Remember, she's using chemical energy in her muscles to produce kinetic energy for her whole body. So we want to know how much energy does she convert in 10 minutes? Okay, now we have a problem. If you'll remember, a watt of power is a joule per second, a joule per second. This is in minutes, not seconds. In order to get watts of power, our time has to be in seconds. Now, do you all remember how many seconds are in one minute? 60. So if there are 60 seconds in one minute, and you've got 10 of them, then that's going to be 600 seconds. Now that we've got it in seconds, we can find the power. Since we want, oh, sorry, change in energy. Since we want the energy converted or transferred, we're going to cover that up, and we have to say power times time. So I'm going to say delta E, the converted energy, equals the power times the time, okay? And that way we get 400 watts, times our 600 seconds, okay? So we come over here to the calculator, and we're going to say 400 times 600, enter. Whoop, I guess i got to turn it on first, don't I? There we go. Okay, 400 times 600, enter. Oh, there we go, 240,000. All right, so that's going to be... 240,000 watts of power generated as she runs. Golly, that seems like a lot, doesn't it? Okay, well, yes, it does seem like a lot. But you've got to remember, a joule of work or joule of energy is actually a very tiny quantity. So that means when you're converting it, and you're doing something like running, it's going to take a lot of joules to do that. So a lot of joules for each second that you run, okay? All right, now what I want you guys to do is to try doing the ones right down here using the same method. Remember, depending on what they're trying to have you find, like here, they want how much work did the microwave do? The work is the energy transferred. So cover that up. You're going to say P times T, just like we did on the example. You get the idea? So whatever you're looking for, cover it up, and it'll tell you what to do with the other two. So identification is very important here of the information that you're given. 
All right, guys, go ahead and have fun with this. Submit it, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.